Hello friends, in this video we will learn JK latch as well as T latch. T stands for toggle latch. Let us begin. So now uh, we will study JK latch. So this JK latch will have two primary inputs which is J and K along with there will be a control input also. Output will be QN and QN bar. Now we will see what is the effect of J and K on this latch and how it reflects into output. So I will have control input J, K, QN and QN bar and accordingly we are going to comment on this. So when control equal to 0, of course J and K becomes immaterial and output remains no change that is qn remains qn and qn bar remains qn bar so in comment i can write it is no change condition if you see internal diagram of jk latch then you will see almost 90 percent time it is sr latch only therefore it behaves 90 percent as if it is sr latch only so what i'll do just for the reference i'll write s and r on the top of jk so this is for only reference I am writing, otherwise it is JK latch only. Let us see the next condition. When control input equal to 1, J and K are 0, 0. If you remember, when in SR latch, when it is equal to 0, 0, it is considered to be no change condition. Same as I said, JK behaves almost like SR with minor difference, which I will let you know. So when S and R equal to 0, 0, it means when J and K are equal to 0, 0, again QN remains QN and QN bar remains QN bar, this is what we call as no change condition, right? So let me write qn as qn and qn bar as qn bar. The resulting comment I can write it is no change condition. Again control equal to 1, j and k are changed to 0, 1. So just for the reference you can see s and r status here. r equal to 1, s equal to 0. Of course it is called as a reset state. So qn is 0, qn bar is 1 and the status I can write is at reset. Next time when control equal to 1, j and k are changed to 1, 0. As you can see, for reference, S and R status, it is 1, 0. S equal to 1, of course, latch should get into set condition. Therefore, QN equal to 1, QN bar equal to 0, it is called as set condition. Now, we shall see the last case, where control equal to 1 and J1, K1. Here, we should not take as a reference as SR. Because if I take again a reference of SR, then there would be absolutely no difference between SR and JK, right? So this is the speciality of J and K, which SR doesn't have. In SR latch, when S equal to 1, R equal to 1, it is called as avoid condition. Is that right? Because when S equal to 1, R equal to 1, QN and QN bar, both of them are forced to become 1, which is logically incorrect. Is that right? What happens in JK, which really differs jk then sr is that qn becomes qn bar and qn bar becomes qn see it is quite weird but let us study this qn becomes qn bar and qn bar becomes qn this is called as a toggle condition so this condition is called as a toggle condition let us understand what is meant by toggle condition because this is the only difference between sr and jk when j equal to 1 k equal to 1 and of course control equal to 1 then only j and k status will make some sense in that case, let us assume the previous output of qn and qn bar were 0, 1. This is the previous status and present input of j and k are equal to 1, 1. Then outputs are going to change. Mean, this 0 will become 1 and 1 will become 0. This is what we call as toggling. Suppose, if I keep j equal to 1, k equal to 1 and again control equal to 1, then this again 1 becomes 0 and this 0 becomes 1. So, in a way, as you can see, you will get this 0, 1, 0, 1 continuously and here you will get 1, 0, 1, 0 continuously. So basically the application of this j equal to 1 and k equal to 1 is to generate a square wave or continuous square wave on qn and qn bar. This we will study in detail later on. But understanding the application of j equal to 1 and k equal to 1 is equally important here. So this is the working of jk lash. I am sure you are now comfortable with JK latch. Here I have not drawn the internal circuit of JK latch because we are going to study its internal diagram later on 
in next few topics. Thank you. Once you understand JK, then it is very easy to T latch because T latch is a derived from JK latch only. We'll see how. So if you remember, J and K were inputs, and along with of course control input also. So I'll name that control input as C here. So between J and K, if I put a short circuit, then we got a provision of only one input, and that input is denoted as T, and T stands for toggle. So this is called as a toggle latch. And now we will see what is the working of this. So first we will have the status of control. Then we will say what is the status of T. Then we will see what is the status of Q and and depending on that we shall add a comment to this. So when control equal to zero, of course T is don't care and as usual Q and will remain Q and and therefore this condition is called as no change condition, right? When control equal to zero and T equal to zero. When control equal to 1 and t equal to 0. Since control input equal to 1, now inputs are actually enabled. When t equal to 0, it makes j equal to 0 as well as k equal to 0. You can see the diagram, j and k are shorted and it has made a common input called as t. So whatever that you apply on t goes to j also and k also. So making t equal to 0 causes j equal to 0 and k equal to 0. When j equal to 0 and k equal to 0, again it is called as no change condition. Therefore, again qn will remain qn and of course qn bar will remain qn bar this is called as no change condition when control input equal to 1 and when t also equal to 1 which causes j to become 1 and k also to become 1 when j equal to 1 k equal to 1 as we have seen in the previous slide it is nothing but a toggle condition where qn changed to qn bar and qn bar is changed to qn so qn is changed to qn bar and this is what we called as a toggle condition so, it is very easy to remember this T latch. When T latch equal to 0, output is no change. And when T equal to 1, output is changed. Output is changed as in 0 becomes 1 and 1 becomes 0. This is what we call as toggle condition. So, the toggle mode of T latch is enabled only when T equal to 1. Otherwise, output remains no change. So, I am sure you must have understood JK latch also and T latch also. T latch is nothing but derived from jk only just short j and k make a common input and name that input as t thank you